Today we are back at the Dubai Mall to make a full day watch shopping and visit all our favorite brands. Two of my friends are going to join me on this adventure and hopefully we will be able to show you some beautiful luxury watches, interesting boutiques and a fun day. So lean back guys, take a coffee and enjoy the video. As it is quite early, not too many fancy cars yet in front of the mall. A Rolls Royce and a Lamborghini. That's it for now. On my wrist today, my Tudor Black Bay 58 Blue on the Uncle Seiko bracelet. In case you are curious about the bracelet and how I fitted it to the watch, I made a full video about it that you can find on my YouTube channel. First stop at the Zenith Boutique. My friend is wearing a 41mm blue dial stainless steel royal oak he recently got for the retail price here in Dubai from the Audemars Piguet Boutique. First watch of the day, a new boutique edition of the Zenith Chrono Master Sport that features a tricolor ceramic bezel matching the tricolor subdials. Inside is the one tenth of a second automatic chronograph movement and this watch is only available at Zenith boutiques and not at the off-rise dealer stores. Next we have a Zenith DeFi Extreme E Desert Edition. This watch is made for the Desert X Pre, which takes place in Saudi Arabia and is like a dune bashing rally with electric uh, off-road cars. The strap uses recycled rubber from the Continental car tires used in the race. The watch is limited to 20 pieces only and this was the last piece available for now. The full gold Chronomaster Sport, definitely a heavy hitter. And now my highlights from the boutique, the Zenith icons. The first one is a Zenith G381 from 1971, beautiful panda dial, full gold case and a very subtle vintage patina. I think this watch would be my pick from the current offerings of the Zenith boutique. And the second icon we can find here a 1971 G382 Zenith, again with a full gold case, a brown and champagne colored dial and El Primero movement inside. The case features the so-called Roller Lux and the watch was limited to 200 pieces at the time of production. Quick stop at the Swatch store. As always, no Moon Swatch available. Moving on to Frank Müller. A store we usually do not check out, but let's have a look if we can find something interesting over here. A Vanguard made from titanium. This is steel, matte steel. And this is titanium. Yes, this is why this is lighter. Titanium will be more lightweight. Yes. Yeah. And also we have another. This has gold as well at the back. So this is the smallest side, yeah? yeah? And here is the signature feature of Frank Müller, the crazy hour complication. You can see the number 181614, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, yes. 11, 12. Oh, this is so cool. 1. So now it's 15, 115, yeah, 120. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. A yachting model in white. Looks fresh and fits great to a Kandura in case you are wearing one. Yeah. Exactly the same one. Only the numbers mix. Next stop at Cartier. With more water for us. <laughs> no. <laughs> And the sales advisor has a beautiful and special watch collection prepared for us. 
for the start the normal Santos white dial in the large size a full gold Cartier Santos with white dial in large this watch is super heavy due to being made of full gold the design also looks beautiful and I would say this full gold version looks even better than the normal stainless steel version I think the white dial fits much better to the yellow gold in comparison to the stainless steel looks way more interesting and if I could afford it I think this full gold version would be my pick for a Cartier Santos a skeletonized Cartier Pasha also one of the hype models at the moment and usually very hard to get especially with this skeletonized dial yeah, but it's loose. And a Cartier Pasha with a full diamond style and diamonds bezel. The diamonds are held in place by springs, so they can actually move around while you move your wrist. A lot of bling for the price of around 115,000 US dollars. The two Cartier Santos next to each other. As said, I would prefer the full gold version, but which would be your pick? A quick look around the Rolex store, right at the entrance at the mall. All the watches are display only, but it is very refreshing to see GMT Masters and Submariners back in the display. So at least people can have a look at the watches and see if they like them or not. The new Longines Legend Diver watches. These small ones come in 36 mm, are about 12 mm in thickness and have a fabric strap and a fumé dial. Very very nice watches for a price of around 2000 US dollars. The red and beige one are my two favorites. In case you want one for a bigger wrist in bronze, Longines has this 42 mm version. And a very special watch is this Longines Avigation watch with a single pusher to start and stop the chronograph. A very unique piece which will find many fans, especially for the price point of around 3500 US dollars. Next stop at Tech Heuer to check out the new purple dial Monaco. Unfortunately, we couldn't find it over here. But the authorized dealer for Tech Heuer got us covered and had one already reserved piece in stock. So here is this very special and recently hyped purple dial Monaco. What do you think guys? I think the dial is pretty cool especially with this strong fumé effect. So as you can see in the middle it's purple but to the sides it's nearly completely black which looks pretty cool. But of course the, the Monaco is quite a big watch so you must be able to pull it off on your wrist and yeah unfortunately I'm not the guy for it so I will probably not add a Monaco to my collection. Moving on to IWC who display an original F1 Petronas car in the showroom. So for all fans of Formula 1 this store is a must visit when you are in Dubai. An original F1 steering wheel as well, which is so incredibly compact. It's actually the first time for me to see this in real and get my hands on one. So yeah, definitely a really cool experience over here. 
And on top, this store not only has a F1 Petronas car for you, they also have the best coffee from all the watch boutiques and you can actually get the coffee for free over here. So time for a coffee break for us. And here are some nice IWC watches, the Top Gun watch, my personal favorite from IWC. A bronze pilot's watch. And the IWC Top Gun Mojave Desert Edition, which is made of ceramic to be super scratch resistant. A few more boutique editions. A pilot's watch chronograph with orange numerals, hands and minute track. Looks great as well and is super legible. And a blue version of the same watch. Moving on, we visit our friends at JLC to check out the Polaris Perpetual Calendar. And still one of my favorites is this Reverso on the brown leather strap with the dual face, heat blued hands and medium size. This click sound once the case pops in place is just too good. A blue boutique edition dual face reversal. <laughs> A master control blue. And another highlight in this store, what you can see at the VIP launch in the back is this Atmos clock. Time for a few more affordable watches at the lovely G-Shock store with our best sales guy Axel. Currently a promotion uh, is running where you can get some of the old stocks at around 50% discount. But my two favorites here are the Camouflage Edition. One in a G Oak and one in a G Square design. So I think I would get one of these two pieces. Turkish, the one downstairs. Ah yeah, uh, oh, no, no, no. I've been there too many times. Uh, or oh, do they have the Greek inside? Getting some sweets as per local advice from my Emirati friend. And some burgers for dinner at Black Tap Burgers. Ah, 
volcanoes? They're cheese fries. Moving on, my friends are checking out the new Tudor Ranger. I already made a dedicated video about this watch which you can also find on my YouTube channel and in a nutshell I think the NATO strap version is a great package at a price point of around 2500 US dollars and possibly the best watch you can get at that rate at the moment in the watch market. On the bracelet I think it looks a bit too simple but the NATO strap gives it a good splash of color and is also really really well made. I think as said often in many other videos these Tudor NATO straps are really the best NATO straps in the whole watch market. Time for another coffee at Panerai with more watches. Alberto, Alberto sent it to me and then um Oh, thank you very much. The Submersible Luna Rossa Special Edition. You work six days a week. And my personal favorite over here is this full rose gold submersible with ceramic bezel, which comes at a whopping price point of 25,000 US dollars. But yeah, definitely it is a good looking or great looking watch. Maybe the best one from the full store for me. A quick tour around the store with more watches we can find over here, starting with the base models which are a great option to start if you want to dive into the Panerai community. The Lumino Duo and more submersibles. Our last stop for the day is at Omega to have a look at the new CK859, a beautiful retro style watch with a simple sector dial and heat blued hands. More than enough features to have a future proof timeless beauty on the wrist. And with that we are at the end of our shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Drop me a comment with your personal highlight and see you in the next one. Bye bye.